men have become bored with women. Women, you focus on your girlfriends, the car you drive, the house you live in, the clothes you wear, your nails, your hair, your makeup, all the Botox and all the treatment you do, the fillers, the boob job, the butt tuck, the liposuction, and the list goes on and on. And when a man takes you out, you open your mouth and his head hits the table and he goes, shit, not another one. There's no substance. There's no quality about you. Your beauty is not there. It's all external and fake. There's nothing lovely about you. Men are longing for your beauty, women. The essence of who you are. Where is your nobleness? Where is your virtue? Where is your dignity? Where is your adventure? And most of all, where is your mystery? The only way that the world is going to change is if women begin to change. This is an undeniable truth of dating modern women. They're way too shallow to even date or commit to. When women changed as a result of the recent wave of feminism, they expected men to change as well, but we didn't. We kept our values and decided to go our own way. So if modern women want us to court them, they have to change and become worthy of courting. Before they might have been more worthy, but today they're not worthy any longer. The only thing they care about is their looks and being the centre of attention. They have no morals, no class, and have lost their caring nature about them. Everything they say is me, 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 me. And they wonder why men don't want to commit to them. I walked away. The hoes are taking things too far now. I mean, they've already taken things to extremes, but why am I seeing women online fake breastfeeding babies just so that they could pull out their boobs, just so that they could show their full boobs and nipples on social media. How desperate are you to get some likes? How desperate can you be that you're making a beautiful nurturing thing into something perverted? And you know who should be pissed about this? Mothers. Mothers should be pissed about this because they're taking something innocent and turning it into something disgusting. Just for likes. Just for attention. Why is Instagram allowing this? Why is Instagram allowing for them to have their full-on boobs with their nipples showing and everything? Breastfeeding fake babies on social media it has come to a new low. When is enough enough? Bring back shaming. Bring it back. Feminists will preach, oh, don't slut shame. No, we should slut shame, especially because of reasons like this. This is a prime example of why men don't want to commit to modern women. Can you imagine this happening 60 years ago? This would have been unheard of. But today, these 304s are willing to go into the depths of the lowest self-worth just to get some attention. And then they turn around and expect men to marry them. Imagine introducing one of these 304s to your family as your fiancé. Mum, Dad, this is my fiancé. Oh, she is beautiful son. What does she do for a living? She breastfeeds fake babies on social media for OnlyFans. What the fuck? If my man doesn't like it or agree with it, I'm not doing it. I know, there are Gen Z's out there screaming right now. But that's my man, that's my fiance, that's my best friend, that my life partner. We're each other's forever. Why would I do something that my man doesn't agree with or want me to do? I know where things got misunderstood in this generation, but your partner is supposed to be above everyone, above everything. But why would you do something that they don't agree with or makes them feel uncomfortable? They have your best interests at heart, so you know it's coming from a good place. When they tell you, I don't think you should do that, you shouldn't do it. Do you understand? Like, they have your best interests at heart. Plain and simple. If my man doesn't like it, I'm not doing it. If he doesn't agree with it, I'm not doing it. Out of basic respect in the relationship. I don't know where things got lost in translation. The fact is, if you're in a committed relationship or marriage with somebody, you care about each other enough to want to make each other happy. You appeal to each other's wants and needs. Your girlfriend or wife should be happy to put a smile on your face. So if she is doing the opposite of what you desire of her, she is not your partner. She is your enemy. Sleeping with the enemy? 
I have been silent for way too long, but I'm done being silent about this. Somebody needs to talk about this and it's going to be me. There is an egregious double standard right now with men and women. For example, women don't want to be treated badly by men. They don't want to be called names. They don't want to be made to feel like they're worthless. They don't want to made, be made to feel less than. They don't want to have their accomplishments and everything picked apart. They don't want any of that. But they're perfectly okay giving that treatment to men. Too often, I am seeing women being unbelievably cruel to men and not only not seeing anything wrong with that but also getting praised for it by other women what do i mean by that well what i mean by that is insults like oh you only have a few years of good hairline left you know better play your cards right or stuff like that you know you wouldn't want a man to say you only have a few good childbearing years left. And furthermore, that really affects me because my brother lost his hair in his 20s. And I watched firsthand what that did to him and what that did to his self-esteem. And I mean, I, I couldn't even tell him that, you know it's going to be okay, like, it's not going to stop you from dating, it's not going to stop girls from being interested in you, because I knew how cruel girls were being. I knew girls were making comments about men losing their hair and making them feel awful, so I couldn't comfort my brother in that way. And you want to talk double standards, it's absolutely unacceptable for a man to comment on a woman's body in any way, shape or form. But women seem to be quite comfortable commenting on men's height and downgrading them for their height and making them feel worthless for their height. Something they cannot change. Men also deserve to feel wanted in this world. They also deserve to feel appreciated, they also deserve to not be attacked for things they cannot change, they also deserve to have some respect. It goes both ways. You want to see change? You're going to have to change first. Women were said to be the more caring and compassionate gender, but those days are officially over. They have become cold-hearted and cruel. Yet they also, in the same breath, demand for men to treat them better. One of the greatest qualities about women is their ability to soften a man. For example, when two men are arguing and a woman comes in between them, she is able to defuse the situation. When somebody is injured, a woman is able to bring her feminine touch to inspire healing and comfort. Modern women have lost their ability to do those things. Instead, they make arguments worse and increase more pain. There are only a very select few decent women left out there, but they're like looking for a marble in a landfill. I dive into that dumpster. It was disgusting.